Hello, and welcome to Channel Sport on Sunday. I'm Ken Ochomago. It's been raining, yes, pouring. <laughs> pouring. They say when it rains, uh, it rains cats and dogs. And some people are adding hippos. I don't know why they don't talk about the fishes, because probably because they are in, you know, that is their natural habitat. So when it rains, it doesn't rain on the, you know, it doesn't rain on the fishes. It rains on us and the lake, the roads of Lagos, I tell you. Some place you're supposed to spend two minutes. Uh, you spend about 16, minimum of 16 minutes. But we have to get here. We have to get it done. And Channel Sport on Sunday must take place live from our studio here in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, it's been some of those uh, uh, weeks that we talk about, you know, things that are happening. But today, uh, before my colleagues join me, I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here in the studio. <laughs> the rain has trapped them somewhere. Uh, but they, 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 they'll be here. And you, those of you at home, probably this is the day we should also have to open the lines. We've stopped you, of course, for some time now. So we'll try as much as possible. We'll try as much as possible to see if we can get you know, to you and you give us your opinion. Uh, because today, before we talk on the main issue, uh, I, will not, I won't mention it yet. I will start, let, just, let me just give you updates on the things that have happened you know, uh, uh, in this, the, the, the past um, few days. Uh, let's start from Port Harcourt. Uh, things, things good happening in Port Harcourt. It is gradually shifting away between Port Harcourt and Delta. I don't know which is the mecca of sports now. Of course, Bayesa is doing so well. Uh, all that is that's all that's in the South, South States. What's happening all over the country? But then handball is happening. Uh, basketball is happening. And that is where we are starting from. Because in River State uh, and Port Harcourt, to be precise, uh, the Rivers Hoopers are the champions of the Nigerian uh, basketball uh, league uh, for 2023 because they defeat in the final they did beat the cost yes they customized i didn't say beat they customized nigeria customs by 20 good points 77 to 57 and it tells you uh that that qualifies them for the you know uh, the african basketball league where you know some monies are going to come so that 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 that, that is the team there uh, um you know, picking picking the trophy in Port Harcourt, uh, in Port Harcourt there, and they were being, it was naira, you know, not not thousands of naira, millions of naira. Uh, there was one million, another one million. At the last count, they've got about three million naira that has been splashed on them, you know, in picking this. So the team from Port Harcourt, uh, you know, uh, yeah, is now they are now the champions of Nigeria, and then they will be in the Africa. I think for the second time they've been in Africa before, so they will be there representing Nigeria uh, in the morning spinning the African basketball league so let's see how uh, uh, they are going to do there you know facing the best of the continent the best that we can have so um that is that we'll, we'll, we'll get proper updates on this uh when we link up with uh sammy virginia because sammy is going to give us two stories uh, you know apart from this uh also in river state also, the other one is Rivers who passed. This is Rivers United. The last team standing. The last team standing. Just like they did last year. They're the last team standing in Africa. We are not proud to see so uh, because we need to have about three or four teams on the continent. You have the CAF Champions League, the CAF Confederations League. We have the portal presenting four teams. And yet we have just one standing at the lesser one. We then win that and all that, that, that will be good. Because if Rivers United do not progress well, Nigeria stand that chance of having the number of our representative reviews to the barest minimum, uh, which is not what we want to do. But then, Rivers United are not playing at home. They are playing right there at the Gospel at Bible Stadium in New York. And uh, so I don't know how they can fill that stadium. The logistics, the traveling, the everything. Not play, just like playing a home away from home, you know. Uh, and that will bring us, probably, uh, when, we, when, we, when we look up with Sammy, uh, he's on the road now uh, from Port Harcourt to New York to join the team. You know, because they, are, they are taking on the academic Dolubitu of Angola. I like that name. Academica Dolubitu. They are, they are a Angola, Angola team in the first, uh, at the first match of the group stage of the CAF Confederations Cup. And we expect that cup to come to Nigeria. Last day we expected it to come, it didn't come. Reverse United, this is another try. Go over there and bring it back home. Let's see how it is. But Sammy, we are, we'll be trying to reach you. And when we get you, you give us update right there. On the road, I don't know. You give us update because this, those are your teams. And then you've been following them. And then you've been part of those who have been planning the success of these teams. But then talking about Rivers United not playing at home because CAF says you cannot 
play at home because your stadium, the Adokia, make, Adokia Mesa Maker Stadium, is not at par. It's not up to the standard that they require. You know, so that is why they are playing. Where Nigeria, as big as Nigeria, I think I will try and, ch and check something here probably during the break. Let me see how many standard pitches you have in London, how many standard pitches you have in Munich, how many standard, how many standard pitches you have in Milan. How many you have in Madrid? And then in Nigeria, the most populous black nation in the world, one of the richest countries in the world, Nigeria has just two. Two. Yes, two. Tell you, the National Stadium in, uh, in, uh, 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 in Surulere is not up to standard. Namde Azikwe Sodom Oka, not up to standard. We've just talked about Adoki Amazica Stadium, not up to standard. Ogbe Stadium Benin, not up to standard. Uh, uh, the Amenu Bello Stadium Kaduna, not up to standard. Which of them is up to standard? We're just talking about Gospel Bible Stadium and then the, the uh, MK Bella Stadium right there in Abuja. So, what is happening to Nigeria? Lagos should have at least a minimum of five standard pitches. That's where we're going to Africa, which will be part of what we're talking about. We'll talk about infrastructure, infrastructural development. We've asked for the Ministry of Sport. Now we have it. Now we are looking at the development of sport. So then we look at grassroots sports and development. CAF, 53 countries, 53 African nations, well, 54, mind you, 53 will start and have started uh, 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 on the route, on the road to, uh, to, to, to the next World Cup. In, in USA, in Mexico, and Canada. So, 53. All right. Uh, 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 before, uh, uh, and I thought that's 53 uh, only. I will come back to that story, but let me just give you the figure. 17 of those are not playing at home. They don't have pitches. One single pitch to play at home, they don't have. But I'm being told to have Sammy. Uh, uh, he is right there on the road. But let's get to Sammy. Hello, Sammy, the king of the south. How are you? I'm very fine, Uncle Ken, and uh, it's my first Okwe day. Okwe, Okwe, Okwe is not, Okwe is not here yet. <laughs> Okwe is not here yet. Okay. Yes. I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in the studio. I mean, it, 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 yeah. It rained, it rained so much in Lagos, so right now I'm the only one in the studio. <laughs> All right. I know you're on the way. I don't know where you, where is your location? You know your, do you know your location now? Do you know where you are? <laughs> That I'm very close to Julio right now, and I wanted to make a slight correction. You said you're alone. No, you're not alone. I'm with you in the studio. Yeah, together. you are with me. You are with me. Sam is with me. <laughs> I agree, I'm not alone. <laughs> but I'm just saying, sitting right here in Lagos, I'm the only one here, while you are right there on the road from Port Harcourt to you. I wish you can write a story on that. But then, let's get the update. Before you talk about why you are going to Uyo, because we all know you are going there for Rivers United, let me ask you this. What really happened in Port Harcourt yesterday? Rivers, who passed? Ha! Was that achieved? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Of course, there have been interference. Uh, I don't know what happened for you to lower the volume of your of your radio, or, you know, and then just uh, pick it up. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, go on. Now I can hear you. Oh no. <laughs> Sammy, did you just cut the line? <laughs> we are going to have fun today. Uh, uh, Sammy just cut the line. I mean, he's trying to lower the volume and the line get cut. But when he reconnects, we shall do this until we get the story we want to get out of Sammy. So like I was saying, uh, Rivers who pass, they are the champions of uh, Nigeria, basketball champions, and then they'll be representing Nigeria. But apart from that, there are other stories that we want to take in here. Uh, uh, sometime in 90s, I'm not too sure of this. Uh, I don't know, it was in 77 or 78. I think it's in 77. I'm not too sure. But uh, um, the Christ, the King College, CKC, Onicha. Yeah, CKC, Onicha. Uh, they went in and they, they conquered the world. They became the World Schools Championship. Yeah, the secondary school football team. And, and, and then, you know, Nigeria was set agog everywhere. All right, I'm told Sammy is back. Uh, Sammy, how are you? Are you back now? Yeah, Can you hear me? Very, very fine. Yeah, there was a whole back. I just wanted uh, you to confirm that there is no whole back anymore. No, 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 it's not anymore. It is clear now, as clear as the, whatever you can think of. I'm hearing you clear, 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 clear. So I was talking about what happened in Port Harcourt yesterday. How, how did the Hoopers customize the customs? 
Yeah, they did. And it was a big day for everyone who is of River Super's affiliation. Before that match, the River Super's had played two games. First against Hopes and Reed, which is coached and owned by a former D Tiger star, Olumide Oyedeji. They won that match. And then uh, they had also played against the Boko City Chiefs. They won that match as well. However, going into the match against Customs, mathematically, Rivers United, uh, Rivers Hoopers rather, could still have lost the title and uh, lost the chance to gain that ticket to represent Nigeria at the ball. However, Rivers Hoopers dug deep, especially in the third and fourth quarters, and uh, they won by 20 points. It was a blowout of sorts. So, congratulations to Rivers Hoopers to be representing Nigeria at the ball, which will take place sometime in March next year in Kigali, the Rwanda capital. So it's a lot of celebration in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. I've been informed reliably that the team, the Victoria's team, will be hosted by the Executive Governor of River State, His Excellency, Sir uh, Kiminelai, in Fubara, at the River State Government House in the days to come. So congratulations to River Supers. They are the representatives of Nigeria at the next edition of the ball in March next year. Okay, so you, you, you are saying the governor is going right there to receive uh, uh, the players of the Nigerian Hoopers. The Rivers, sorry, exactly. Rivers, Rivers Hoopers. I, I'm already, you see, they say when you do well, everybody will, will embrace you. I won't call them Nigerian Hoopers. But when you win, there's a failure now. offer. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> So the, for now, for now, they are rivers, they are rivers who pass. When they represent Nigeria and win the ball and come back, then we just then we, we recruited them Nigerian who pass. So you, you are saying uh, the governor said he was going to receive them? Yeah, um, before I go into that, I, I, I don't think that was a mistake when he said the Nigerian who pass because uh, the who pass have already won the ticket to represent Nigeria at the ball next year. So you can. Uh, if you refer to them as Nigeria Coopers, uh, uh, I don't think you will make any mistake as far as that is concerned. And the answer to the question you asked is the affirmative. Uh, I was having a chat with the Commissioner for Sports University. Uh, you have a very good friend, Barso Chris Green, and he confirmed to me that the Governor of River State, who was supposed to attend at uh, that ceremony as a special guest, has confirmed that the River Coopers will be received at the House in the days to come, where Expectedly, they will be rewarded for their spectacular performance as they just concluded NBBS Super Four in Port Harcourt, where they won every single game that they played. Uh, I love I love basketball, but Simon, let me, let, me, let me tell you this: nothing in this life will make me coach a basketball team. You will just get heart attack. I tell you, in, in, in football, you take before you score one, two, three goals. In basketball, before you know what is happening, it was already there. I nearly fainted when I was supporting University. I tell you, it was University versus ABU at Nuga. I think I was Nuga '84, so anything. And I tell you, no, 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 no. Don't go there. <laughs> this team, no wonder they pay them so much. Uh, okay, <laughs> Sammy, let's talk of why why you are on your way to where uh, you are. Uh, uh, Rivers United. I know, uh, briefly, why are they not playing at home? Of course, I know, I know how you feel about it. I've discussed with you severally on this, and you've shown us some pitches that are worse than what we have. Of course, the pitch there at Adokin uh, and uh, Stadium is top-notch, but we're talking about other facilities. Did CAF give the main reason why they said Rivers United should not play at home? Um, to feel this point in my voice, I'm right on my way to you and not happy about it. Don't, don't get me wrong, Joe is Nigeria. Um, they have a good city, I'm going to have a good international stadium. But the best part of United should be playing home matches on the continent. Hoping it won't, but that's not happening. Now, that's it. I think I'm going to clear that some of the facilities. We're not up to scratch the idea that the home ground of the and for some video that these facilities have since been refurbished. And uh, let me just slightly digress. Yeah, there, there, there's a program we have on radio, and I know you were on that program on Friday. We had a chat with the man who is in charge of Rivers United right now, Barista Christopher again, and I asked him the same question you asked me. I said, look, the facilities right now are in great shape. The pitch is in fantastic, fantastic condition. I was talking about the floodlight. Now the floodlight are functioning. The changing room, the dress 
Cameroon are in great condition. The officials of CAR, the Confederation of African Football, were at that stadium special occasions to inspect the facilities. However, they did not approve for that stadium to hold match. And I asked this question, why CAR did not approve the stadium? He said, CAR said they are not going to be that the stadium. But they didn't give any reason. And of course, I mean, this is absolutely shocking for lack of a better way to put it. Because I have seen at that stadium for all the games played by the match United. Uh, uh, Simon, uh, uh, we, are, we are having issues with um, the clarity of your voice here. Uh, uh, let's see. Probably if you can, I know you cannot ask them to pack somewhere so that we can, you know, we, we can continue the discussion. But we'll still try to see that we can get back, you know, uh, you know right away, you know, right, right back there with you and see if we, you know, our... our our listeners also do as watching the, the show will pick up what you are saying because I'm also the, the wind is pushing it there, so there are a lot, a lot of a, a lot of people. Okay, so want to go want to go on on, on on a short break. When we come back, probably we'll get back to Sammy, but then we'll give you the other stories on Channel Sport on Sunday. Stay with us. In 2013, nobody believed in us. Our game against Africa our ticket to come back to Nigeria have, have already been booked. Because nobody believed that we can go there because we have seven home base players and we have five players from the home base starting. Because the chief coach and the boo here believe in all the players because I work under him in the home base when I was playing in Canal Pillars. So we need to go back to that starting point. We we'll have a local league. I start from the local league. If, if nobody believes in me in local league, I will not be where I am today. So we have to go back to our local league because we have a lot of players. What are they playing for if we don't call them in the Super League? We will not encourage them because everyone wants to go to Europe. Because they think Nigeria football is no more interested or they don't pay them a lot of money. But for me, you remember I come back to Kano Pillars. Even though it's 500,000, if you are paying them and they're getting it, they would not think of going outside. Because you have everything that you need. You have your family here. Over there, you are just staying alone. Only football, watch Netflix, listen to music. The life is boring with all the money. I know we'll do a lot and we're going to make Nigeria proud in 2024 in January. The media place, we have a young boys in the team. A lot of them don't take that pressure. Because whenever you are playing, they think, oh, after I play finish, I'll go to my social media, I'll see a lot of insults. We have a lot of players that they are not supposed to retire in the team. But because of what the media are saying, we have to force them to go out from the team. As you can see, we still need someone like Mikel Obi in the team. We still need like Victor Moses. It's not all about young players in the team. Because you need someone to take them along. But right now, we don't have that. A lot of people have been saying, oh, Musa is old. No, I started from young. I started in the Super Eagles, I think, 19, 19 years. So I've been there since because whenever I wear that jersey, it's a privilege for me. And it's a proud to me. That is why everybody is thinking, oh, Musa has been staying in Super Eagles for long. No. I started early. Why? Because I love my country. And I know whenever we lose, I have a family back home. I know the pressure that, because when they are working on the pitch, hey, now your mother be that. More in Sota. <laughs> Definitely. So when I go into the pitch, I will put on what I have so that nobody's going to insult my family. Nigeria is a great country with at least 220 million people. This campaign is about galvanizing all this number to be behind the Super Eagles as they go for the Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. What a great number it will be. And I think that I've listened and I've sat here and I've listened to the various, the content of this program and of this campaign. And what was going on in my head is the fact that we got a rich football history to turn this campaign 
to be a campaign like nothing else. In Christendom, you find people year in, year out, going to the state of Israel, to Jerusalem, on pilgrimage. In Islam, you find Muslims going every day, every moment to Mecca. That is because of the history and the story that has been built around these two countries. Nigeria has a great football history, taking our players one by one, and we can build a story around them. We can enrich this campaign beyond how much we have thought about it. We can make it catch fire, if you want us to say, to say like that. We can get every Nigerian, and that's what we should do, going into the Cup of Nations. This campaign may be about winning the Cup of Nations, but the hope of government and the people of Nigeria, this campaign will go beyond that. Let's make this campaign such that the players, as they play in the field, they begin to feel a sense of not disappointing the entire country. It begins to be for them something that is so frightening to lose because of the quantity of Nigerians that are backing this campaign. We call him Joe. <laughs> He's not a minister of youth and sport. He said, no, I'm the minister of sports. And uh, uh, for those of you who are celebrating the ministry of sports, I tell you, we will, de we devote, we will devote uh, a show here and tell you how Channel Sport on Sunday fought for the ministry of sports. We shall give you, I call her, we shall give you the receipts, the evidence of how on this show, we say sport is an orphan in that ministry. How on this show, we talked to the former minister. How on this show, we spoke with the commissioner for sport in Bielsa. How on this show, we came up with the budgets. How much, what the percentage. And one man started that show. One man started that crusade. Because when we work here as a team, we work as Part, you know, you don't know what goes in here, but I'm happy and you know for, for the group we have here, for the team we have here, because yes, the man who started it, the man who pointed it out and said, look at what is happening before we took up the accuracy. He's in the house, he has defied the rain, he has defied the ghost loop, he has defied you see, did I say ghost loop? Yes, it's Nigeria word for the traffic. Okay, it's in the house. Where me, Angela? Okay, you welcome to the show. Thanks, Ken, for having me. And uh, the Lagos weather is beginning to look like the British weather. <laughs> uh, very, very unpredictable. We are during yesterday and to see. We, no, it's, it's, we have this the is November. Weather, anyway. End of November. End so, of November. Thank God for the clement weather, but uh, planning your movement uh, itinerary becomes something else. But planning we'll your it. movement, we'll the itinerary. It. I mean, you we'll just see. Uh, somebody said, uh, you know, right now, when people why are you complaining about uh, uh, the fuel, uh, the, the price, the pump price of fuel? And you can walk, okay, yeah, you can walk from home. But then as we are saying, uh, uh, the Gary cannot walk from home. The Gary must move. The Yam must move. You understand? We must come to the studio to do this. Of course, we've done it from outside, but somebody has to be here. I'm told Sam is here. Uh, Sam is back with us. And let's see if we cannot take a few minutes with Sammy while we go through the grassroots. A lot of grassroots too that we have today. Hello, Sammy. Are you back? Hello, yes, Sammy. I am back. Good afternoon. Please. Yes, I can hear you. Can you confirm me? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'll manage to hear you because we really need your, we need your story. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 uh, you just told us, of course, um, that the, the commissioner for, for, for Sport River State, uh, Christopher Gray. Uh, I, I only want to say here, uh, that, uh, well, now, 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 now I'm hearing some beeping sound. Okay. I will get back to Sammy, and I hope Sammy will still join. We lost, we lost, we lost the call. Uh, as Sammy said, this way from Putako to you. But Christopher Green, always a commissioner for sports. Uh, uh, you know, right now he's not feeling too well. Um, he was involved in one of those slips, and something has to do with his hip, so he's gotten a lot of treatment. Uh, uh, we, we wish you well. Uh, the ambulance, the, the, the workaholic Christopher Green is a friend of this house. He said, you know, he is a godfather. Uh, so I would have said, rest a bit. River Supers have won. Rivers United, I, you know, we, we, they will do well. Uh, 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 like I said, Academica do Lobito, that's the team of Angola. It's in their playing. Uh, we, like you, you are, you are not part of the coaching team, Christopher Green. Stay at home and then we let's wish this team well. While we wish you, you get well. And when you get well, you can still run around, you know, uh, at the bend. And then, 
let's take a, a time to look at some grass support, okay? Uh, um, before well, okay, maybe yeah. before that, uh, yeah. you spoke about the victory of the Ministry of Sports standing alone. Well, it's not yet a uh, UR years, uh, because yeah. uh, the last time we spoke with uh, Solomon Do uh, Dalong, Dalong uh, yes. he said something about the lottery fund. Yeah. So I think the crusade should start. The lottery fund, even if it has to be domiciled with the office of the secretary to the government of the federation, but what percentage goes to sport? Sports because sport is like the golden uh, the goose. goose that lays that sport long yes. So, But what we have now, lottery, uh, lottery fund uh, proceed goes to IDP camps, goes to ecological funds, when we have dedicated funds uh, for this sub A. So I think uh, it's unfair to sport. If sport is bringing like 90% of the funds in this lottery fund. Uh, but, and, but and, and the 10% last, is going by, yes, it's not over 10%. In the, the in the last two weeks, there has been a lot of uh, oversight com uh, committee hearing from the House of Rep on the lottery fund. But I think they should also look at the disbursement, how those funds are being disbursed. I think it would be, it would be good for sport. The, go the goose that lays the golden egg should at least have a say on how its egg should be shared. Okay, uh, uh, we'll open the lines very, very, very soon, but I just want to let us take up these uh, our stories where, uh, uh, before uh, we can open the lines. Uh, uh, I don't talk about the CKC. Was it 77 that he won or 78? I don't know. 78. 78. Yeah. All right. I'll, that, the question is 78. So uh, I, I was trying to get my 17, 77 and 78 when uh, the Christ the King College Onisha won the World School Championship. They were, uh, um, they were the champions. That's, that's a football rule, so I don't think it's, it's in box or any other thing. So, but today, uh, uh, Channel's, Channel's Kids Cup came up, you know, uh, over just a decade, a decade ago. And then I would try, you know, we started from Lagos and then we moved into, you know, uh, the Southwest and then all over Nigeria. And then we went out of Nigeria and then the South African, uh, 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 West African sub region, you know. So I, I, we went to the primary schools under 12, and you have to be you have to be 12 years of age, and you have to be in primary school, which is school based sports, uh, supported by Lagos State Government for the logistics that we are having. I mean, it was it was the rave, it was what these kids were looking up to. Till COVID 19 came and truncated that. But let me tell you this the Kids Cup will return. <laughs> that foundation has been laid. It was laid on a solid rock, not on quick sand. So it will return. But what I'm saying here is that um, the African, uh, uh, the, the CAF has also kind of took that idea that Channel started with, and then, you know, it is now in the continent. And then you have the, uh, the national uh, uh, school, um, the African uh, schools championship that is going on. Representing Nigeria this year, they won, they, 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 they won the, uh, the championship in Nigeria, is the National Grammar School, Enugu. Uh, of course, they couldn't go further because, you know, they lost out in the semis and they have to play for a third place match. But well, let me tell you this. In doing that, CAF is rewarding National Grammar School, Enugu, with 800 balls. 800. We're not about eight. We're not about 80. 800 balls. If those balls are shared in the local government, where they, or even in the state, I mean, each school should at least have one ball. Yeah, kind of. To go back to what you say about uh, Christ the King's College, it was 1977. 77, right? uh -huh, okay. 77. Yeah. Now, it takes us back to 83, when Chief First of Sonic they said he was for a ball. <laughs> <laughs> for the, our national that team, team. Yes. the Green Eagles, yes. and uh, he would never get, never get it. it. But a foreign coach will come, ask for one, gets 20. Yeah, gets 20. So, coming from uh, a period yes. where our national team struggles for one a single ball, ball, and we are having 800, 800 balls. balls. Yes, my fear is this uh, we are used to this uh, famous or infamous quotation Nigeria, we have plenty of money, how to spend it is a problem. Yeah. So, I hope we so get back. I, I hope those 800 and balls. Don't forget that we don't even have the structure at the local government level. Yeah. Because if we had that structure, our football would not be where it is. The, not, the local government, they are not doing anything concerning grassroots sport development. I stand to be corrected, Ken. We shall look, we shall look at. Ah, uh, there, there is a local government. Sorry. Ken, uh, there is, there we is, have 774 local governments. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We'll, we'll start highlighting those who are doing it well so that those who are sleeping can wake up. And I can say this for a general me, a fellow to local government area. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Ajif, they are one local government that, are, you know, they put infrastructure in place. The Maracana, the Nata, they were listed, you know, uh, top. You know, Innovation when you, with yes, DVD. With DVD, with modern. And that is why. 
Let me tell you this. That is why, to, you know, uh, starting from tomorrow, starting from tomorrow at that place, I've just, you know, I, I will be there. I will be there. I hope you guys will come along. I generally follow local government, which, you know, they, they've been doing this always and always and always, you know, uh, doing tournaments. And then remember, the first, uh, uh, was it over, over, over 50 football competition in Nigeria? was won by a Jeremy Fellow the local government. That is, the, that is where the superstars, the great stars came from. We've been targeting, uh, we, most of the time, we bring, them, we bring uh, Jonathan Akbobori here, you know, uh, Peter Nyeketem, Depriye Taibowe, you know, uh, a lot of stars that came out, uh, uh, John Jude Ehalo, you know, Okolo C. Uh, you, can, you, can, you, you, you can't stop by counting all the players who have come out of that place. And right now, for, you know, uh, they, they are having this, uh, 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 coaching, you know, coaching program Courses where they are tennis. bringing they are bringing in coaches and sporting directors from Europe. I tell you this, that is what is happening right there. You know, uh, uh, there, you know there is Fatty Atias is coming from Turkey. They say he's the stand head coach of Boluspor FC in Turkey. Uh, we have a uh, Hilari uh, Hilari Hari Italo. He's coming from Finland. Uh, he's the head coach of OTP FC. Uh, we have uh, Austin Gibri from Finland. You understand? We have Glenn Stahl. Glenn Stahl is coming in from Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia. He's the former head coach of uh, Al Bokriya. He's coming from Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, a, a Tade Simatis, who is director of sports in FK Retaria in Lutania. So a lot of these were coming. But the, the thing is that not only do we have about maybe 16 teams gathered from all over Nigeria who are coming to play there, you understand, with all this, the co these people will take coaching program. You understand? That is, that is why this thing is exciting me. They're taking coaching program because you have a uh, 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 part of the, co uh, the uh, topics of teaching is periodic and season planning. How do you plan your season? You understand? How do you plan your season? Uh, there is types of playing system and formation. That tactics, one will be taken up by the staff. That is tactics. tactics yeah. You understand? There is mental part and skills. What agents are looking for in a player. Okay. So that is for players and also the coaches. Will not Embed this in your players. In players. You know what, what agent. So a lot of things will be happening right there. You know uh, uh, at the Maracana. So you guys um, would do. Uh, then most of this is happening at the generally follow the local government itself. You know, okay. the, the, the chairman's uh, boardroom and all those areas. So just be part. Don't miss it from tomorrow. Go right there in the morning. Okay. Go there to Ajif and let, let, let me chip in something to yeah. just uh, more like uh, uh, before what you said. There used to be a feud. Um, Jack only took over in Osho, the president Osho in local government. They call it ULA. Okay. But after Brazil lost to France, um, 86 World Cup, Mexico, Jalisco Stadium, Mexico, that place was renamed Jalisco Stadium. So that's where you have the current Osho, the solo local government. Okay. Now, that field. Yes. That, because you have, I know that very well. You have like eight schools. That field produced at the same time two national goalkeepers for this country in Ikesho Wumu and Anne Chedele. Wow. Concur simultaneously Merci. for the men national team and female national team. Imagine if a field could produce two, two that goalkeepers. were goalkeepers with the national team for 10 years. Think of us replicating that feat. If what we have in Maracana, of course, it will be time wasting to start counting that, product of Maracana. Pitches, pitches. I think about six or eight pitches are all just scattered yes. at the Maracana. Yes. You understand? Not at what you have here. I think St. George's, uh, the UK, uh, they are of uh, National they Football Center. Same center where they, where they model train. after and then that. They, of course, they took that. They, they looked at what space was and doing. And what France. Yes. And uh, fortunately, once you do it, the next 10 years, you get to win the World Cup. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're opening the lines now. You'll join the show because the lines are open. You can be part of this. Um, we've seen that, by, like we're saying, out of 53 African countries that are playing at, the, you know, are trying to qualify for the World Cup, 17, that is over 30% of them cannot play in the because they don't have one single ground, one single pitch, one that is of standard to host a national team, to host a continental team. I mean, we shouldn't be crying. Nigeria, our, my Nigeria, your Nigeria, him, his Nigeria, and our Nigeria have just two. And that is why Rivers United, you understand? Now, if you've been to River State, go and check the Adokia Amazemeka Stadium. Man, that stadium is gigantic in terms of, you know, structure. You understand? But then they have been trying in the past one year to put it in shape. They're trying to put it in shape to see how. But Nigeria, it is only the Gospel Akbabio Stadium on you. And 
the MK Oabrilla Stadium, which was just built. These ones were built in the, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, five, you know, ten years. MK Abrilla was, 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 was under Barcelona. Koja was for Koja. Yes. So Koja was 2003. So, no facilities. So where do you expect? Oh, we don't have uh, players. Players are not coming up. Where do they train in the middle of the road? What are the facilities? What are the facilitators? Those are the questions we are, we are asking. And that's why we are opening the last one of contribution. What do we do about those facilities? All right. Uh, um, we talked about the uh, uh, National Grammar School, Enugu. Let's also talk about uh, uh, the Scrabble, because uh, there is the pharmacy student, you know, we're talking about grassroots totally, the pharmacy student from the University of Lagos, you know, uh, 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 Doku Oluwatimi Lehi. He's a 500 level student. He, is, he had just emerged as the, uh, a West African scramble champion with a prize money of $2,000. Congratulations, Doku. Go over there. You conquer, Af conquer West Africa. Soon you will conquer Africa. And then that is it. And then um, the NPFL Youth League. All right. Okay, let's. Uh, Coach Raji is right there on the line. Hello, Raji. How are you? Uh, good afternoon, Ken. Yeah, good afternoon, Raji. How are you? Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> Fine. I, I, it's been a long time, Ken. Yeah. Yeah, you, I know you said it's been a long time. I'm hearing very well. Maybe <laughs> okay. Can we up the sound in the studio, uh, please? Yes. I I watched the match between a. Uh... Go on. The I match between who? And uh, what I saw on that match is really impressive. Which match? The goalkeeper, the match between Enyiba of Aba and uh, Nanja Tunado at the Hot Wheels Stadium is at nine years. Okay. That really impressed me. Do you believe that the goalkeeper of Enyiba single-handedly won that match for, well, um, uh, you know, got a point for Enyiba in that Enyiba. match? Wow. And uh, I saw that goalkeeper on bench. You know, you know, in fact, committed blunder in our match against uh, 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 Lesotho. <laughs> it pains me very well because what is happening to our football? If you have a coach that cannot look in what, I don't think we'll go far in this uh, uh, in a developmental project of uh, our football. If a coach could put that sort of goalkeeper on bench, that means the coach does not know what to do. So as a coach, I don't like criticizing the other coaches. Yeah. But there should be a way out. Coaches who are looking what? We have a lot of talent in our league. So this is just what I want to say. Have a nice day. Thank you, Coach Raji. Coach Raji says... <laughs> A lot of that, a lot of a lot of football fans, okay, a lot of them say, look, what has happened to our goalkeeper? Uh, uh, we, 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 we've not had it this this way before. Uh, and then, and he's saying he saw a keeper, the Enyiba goalkeeper, who you know stood the ground, who ensured victory for his team. You have this, I don't want to try. I mean, a, a, a lot of guys came in. I want to uh, before you uh, uh, you chip in something that in our last friendly. The national coach of Nigeria came. There were four, he invited four goalkeepers. And he's used only one, only the same coach. He didn't, so why bring On them? On a performing goalkeeper. Why bring them if you cannot even try them in a friendly? Ken, uh, we used to have a goalkeeper called Aloysius Agu. And um, I watched Aloysius in 85, 86 in the league for ACB and Nepal. And there is nobody anybody will tell me that would not make me an Aloysius Agu fan. I was, when he said Gukipa saving the match, Aloysius, several times, Aloysius Agu. He lost his teeth. No, that, uh, that was Abon Godiga. No. Against Cameroon. No, I think against Burkina Faso. Okay, because I knew uh, uh, Godiga also passed out okay. of Ruben, against Ruben uh, Cameroon. Ruben is on the line. Okay. I know, he's been long. <laughs> Ruben! Mr. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> How are you? you? It's been long, Ruben. It's been long. Uh, Mr. Ken, uh, Nigerian football should, I think that is where they should declare state of emergency. <laughs> they should declare state of emergency. <laughs> uh, I listened to your program when I met Musa. Yeah. Which, um, what uh, forum or what uh, 
um, gathering they were doing that Alan Musa was speaking. Yes, let's do it again. Uh, yeah, okay. The, the issue is this. Now, okay, I want to, because now it's as if we, we did not even play football at some time, but I want you to help me. What is the problem? Is it that, is it the influx of foreign these players, or is it that the coach just wants to just tell them that this player is in Bundesliga, we bring him, we just bring all, we don't, we, now I can't even point which, which is our first level. We just say a player is doing well in Europe, we invite him. We just say, we don't, we are, we are not. That's what I feel. I think that's the problem. It doesn't matter whether it's a home base or foreign base. But at least by now we should have a first level. That is the problem I feel. Because we cannot be struggling with the likes of uh, Lesotho. No, I shall know me. The thing is, it's really, it's really paining me, honestly. I don't know. See, it was, it was, it was, it, 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 it's painful that we cannot go back to those very days. That's why we want to play football like that. Okay, Ruben, <laughs> Ruben, okay, I, I will, we will thank, thank you for your contribution. I know how, how pained you are. Um, uh, but let, 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 me, let me ask a question based on what, what you have just said. Uh, uh, Ruben is saying, okay, we're not going to break. <laughs> we're not going to break and be too soon. And when they give you order, you must obey. So you stay with us. When we come back, the last one will be spoken. Stay with us. All right, you welcome back. Uh, like we're saying, uh, we're talking about, looking about the grass sports today in Nigeria, and also um, let just let me just take this at uh, uh, in handball in handball at the uh, Adova Handball Premier Premier League. Uh, uh, Niger United and Safety Babes, you know, have emerged as the champions for the 2023 Adova Handball Championship. So. You can see that, yes, uh, basketball, uh, they are thriving. We're trying to look at those sports that we see behind because there will be count that probably by from next week, we start our countdown to Paris 2024. It's almost there. Uh, um, we're going to do the countdown to Cote d'Ivoire <laughs> 2024. You guys are following that already. We'll probably tell you the date when it is starting, January, February 2024. It's supposed to be 2023, but it was shifted down there. So we'll do all that. But talking about facilities, like we said um, before I come to work, but, you know, um, okay, now I want to, uh, let us take this. Okay, we, we have a, all right. All right, Shola is calling us from Kaduna. Hello, Shola. Shola, how are you? Hello, hello. good afternoon, sir. This is Shola from Kaduna. Shola, how are you? Yes, sir. I, yeah, sir, I'm great. I want to contribute to this very thing we are talking about. Yeah. When you talk about, let me go back to Brooklyn, English, sir. Sorry, I'm very sorry to say, sir. Now, where we discover, where we discover Bifu Oyema from Imba, it's the same thing. We have Sunday road to meet the same thing. Good go keep ball. Very good. Why can the lefty not use our own local meat goalkeeper? It's totally wrong. It's wrong. Let's give them let's give them a fire. Let's give them a fire. Number two is that now number two is that when you check very well, it's covered that the coach let go and learn from Western off, let it go and learn from both to Joe. Those people have First 11, second 11. That is the truth. I can give you a squad of US 94. I can give you a squad of Tunisia 94. Because why? Because they are together. We have a squad that can be able to meet up anything. Yeah, you could go out, go and ask them. That is number, number three, sir. I play football in Maracana, in Lagos. Oh. I play football in, hey, I play Maracana. <laughs> I want Maracana, I want Adidas for you. In that place also. You understand? I'm a Cardinal based boy. Go to Lagos to play football in Lagos also. Yeah. So now like this, let me go back to number three. Number three is a school game. This game is very, very important, sir. I played it for, and I was discovered in Shell Cup, 1999 to 2000. My name is Shola Sunday. I play for Rice Football. I believe that Shell Godoban is here right now. He knows me. I play, we represent Nigeria in Accra, Ghana. That's the truth. They need to go back to school game. School game is very, very important. We discover Ambro Van Zaki from school game. Classes in total from school game. A lot of talent in Kaduna here through school game. Please let our government go back to school game. Very, very important. Please, sir, with due respect, let that coach go back to West South and let him learn from West South and Bofiju. Thank you very much. This is Shola Sonny from Kaduna. Thank you, Shola. Shola said, it's like the ants. 
go back and learn. Uh, and we have a history. We have, you know, uh, where we are coming from. So why don't you go back there and learn? Um, before, before we, 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 uh, I take, I take uh, the next story, I just want us to look at this. We just talked about the issue of stadia. Uh, yesterday, um, in, the, in, the, in, in the league, uh, uh, Doma United took on Remo Stars. Yeah. You know, Remo Stars <coughs> were home and Doma United. And then... Why, why am I talking about these two teams? Because if you look at the league, Doma United are on top of the league. Yep. You know, while Remo Stars is not too far, just two points behind yep. right there in fourth. But this behind shooting stars. Behind shooting stars. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Those are the scores. The Heartland, uh, um, Heartland of Uwe Reed, uh, that is That is a local derby. Yep. Uh, this is the first time Inuba has won. I think in the past eight or ten, ten games that they've played, it has, oh, you know, it is difficult beating uh, uh, Heartland. Heartland. Uh, that, that is the match I'm talking about. Remo Stars taking on, you know, uh, Doma, Doma, Doma United. And uh, these this, this two teams are becoming a model on how, you know, Sporting Lagos, FC Abede, on how, you football know, should be football run. should be run in this country. You understand? Uh, coming in with, from the private sector. So those were, those, those matches were, these are the, the, the other ones. And today you have uh, Abia Warriors taking on a... Uh, Enugu Rangers, then insurance of Bini uh, against Hanu Pillars. Kassina United at home to Baisa United. Uh, Nigerian League is full of United. Uh, Quite United taking on Gumbi United. <laughs> they are all United. Don't they, I don't they like unity. <laughs> Lobby Stars. Uh, the, this is the star match. Yeah. Second team and the third oh, team. Okay, okay. Lobby Stars, a battle of the stars. Yes. Taking on shooting not, stars. Not United this time around. <laughs> then Niger Tornadoes taking on Aqua United. Sunshine Stars. Taking uh, on Sporting Lagos. Lagos. Yeah, I think the, the match between... Uh, uh, um, Reverse United, Reverse United game was postponed, postponed because yeah. they are playing on Continental the continent today. Against but, but, uh, you know, but let, let us let us let us take let's take a minute to look at FC Ebede. Uh, let us see what they have. Let us see that you know what we are saying that you know if a private sector can do this, you understand what is the you know uh, what is the government and other things doing. doing. This is this is this is FC Ebede. This is a privately run club in the lower league. league. You understand, and this is what they are doing. We've taken this before. We're trying before. to show you that if an Afri 17 African countries, 17 African countries... Now it's 32%. Yeah, 32%. Of... Okay, Charles, Charles, just hold on. Uh, let's go through, let's go through this. Can Charles talk on, you know, through this? You know? Okay, all right, Charles, uh, what, you are, what you are watching is FC, FC and this, this, this is their ground, what they are showing here. Uh, but 17 African countries don't have a pitch. Oh, yeah, go on. No, Charles, you can talk. You can, let's, let's hear you, Charles. Go on, while we are looking at this. Hey, go on, Charles. Charles, go on. Hello, hello. I'm calling from your Kwaibom State. Okay. Please, I watch I watch that Nigerian uh, lesson too much live here in Uyo and Kwaibom State. All right. There was something I observed, sir. At that year level, at the level <laughs> international level, sir. Are the players expected to hear every instruction from the coach at a certain point in the game? Are players of that level not supposed to take decisions by themselves. For instance, the opponents refused to come out and play. We were playing. We were playing. Nigerians play very good fo football. But the Lesotho players refused to come and to come out. So are the players not supposed to be in the Must they wait for the coach to tell them, I have played football, although not to international level. And people, we were surprised. These people refused to come out and play. We expected that when we, we talked about Tuku, during our time, we watched Tuku overlapping from defense to go and score. So we expected at least one of the defenders to move out, not waiting for the coach. The coach was not doing anything. The, our opponents refuse to come out and play. The players should use their initiative. The question is, must they wait? Must we, at that level, wait for the coach for everything? That's my uh, question, okay. sir. All right, all right. Let, let's, let's, let me, I don't know whether I'm right or wrong, but let me answer you, Charles, my, my own understanding. The players are supposed to play to instructions. When you say play, you see, when you play to your own initiative, you are, you are disobeying the instructions of the money of the coach. The coach is the man who maps out the strategy. If you can't break up a team, then why are you the manager? You, you, you as an you, you watching the game have found that the, the, this, the, your opponent refused to come out. So what strategy 
that he wants to play. That is why you are sitting on the bench. That is why when you watch, as they are showing the games, you will see the, you will see the managers speaking with themselves. Then you now send a message to the pitch. I said, do it this way. Bring them out. Lock ball in. Do that. Run in through. You know, you have seen, check their weaknesses, even no matter how they are trying to compact themselves. Because the more they stay there, drop the ball in their 18, maybe they can get the penalty or whatever it is. So, you, it is not say the players cannot be initiative. It is the manager who invites the team. It is the manager who picks his team. It is the manager who maps out his strategy. So, the buck stops at his desk. He takes the successes, he takes the glory, and he takes the failure. I'm sorry, but that is, that is my own. Of course, you have players who come out out of tight corner and they say, look, uh, uh, the genius out of a ma some magic moment coming, and they do that. It comes out. But then the players are supposed to play to instructions. I don't know if I'm right. Yeah, Ken, uh, I, 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 I cannot but agree with you. I've shared it here before. 2000, Nigeria, South Africa. I was there at the stadium, and you know, what, when I'm watching in life, my the first now to see is the formation. Yes. So I was looking for Tijani Babangida. And, and you saw him on the left. No, before I knew he has called. Yeah, because instead of the right, it was he was from the right. The person right. sitting with me, I was still blaming the guy that look, where is Babangida? The next thing I saw is called. Bob, After the yes. my boyfriend said, look, he noticed uh, the lack of pace of McFish. Yes. So he had to deploy Babangida to the left so that McFish would commit fouls. Yes. So when we talk about the coach needs to study the team, that's why you are being paid. Yeah, you are being paid. Somebody is earning over fifty thousand dollars a month. Fifty thousand dollars. So like Guardiola, you take your initiative, what takes you out. What I was saying. Tell you, he said it. He used initiative, scored the goal, and after Guardiola took him out, like you end you, you like cause no, problem for the team. team. Yes. If you do that ten times, you get caught out nine times. So that's why scoring that goal took him out. So, you, so that is the thing. So I'm not a people say, ah, the players, uh, blame the players when the players. No. We have over a thousand players home and abroad from which this man is supposed to choose from. He's not just coming in. We just said he invited four goalkeepers to the nation for, the, for, for, for friendlies and used one. He, so if you cannot use your players on, at friendly matches, where do you want to use them? Is that a training, a training ground? So basically, that, if you are afraid to lose friendly matches, where you're supposed to experiment, what else do you do? The lights are still open in the next few minutes that we have, you know, so that we know exactly what we want to do. Um, so these are the things like we are saying, uh, uh, the league that we have, the infrastructure. Probably, I don't know, you guys, when you are calling, I swear, you let us give us what the solution to uh, the infrastructural development. Uh, I just said here that, look, local government, from the 2009... Uh, uh, oh, okay, we have Coach Egogo on the line. Hello, Coach. No, 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 no. I want to hear from coaches. Oh, my God. Please. Is there any way we can reconnect him? This line came out cold. I'm sorry. But can we get to you? I want to, we've got Coach Raji just spoke. I want to hear from Coach Egogo. Oh, my God. Please, 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 please. I don't know how we can wear him. I know, Ken. Uh, yeah. for, for the new sport uh, yeah. industry policy, yeah. for local, uh, federal government, you expect to commit 5% of the total budget to sport. Uh, state government, same thing. But for local government, it was vague. So okay. local government... This time around, they, 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 yeah. they, they didn't ask look, the local yeah, government... Yeah, they, the they should ensure the community... But the 2009 resources. sport policy yes. says 5% five, five yeah. of the national budget should yeah. be committed to sports. From lo uh, federal, state, state and local, local government. But this time, for local government, is uh, open-ended. And when you say 5, they were committing nothing. So now... Now you're asking them, okay, go, <laughs> go, go ahead and build market and build, and build shops. Well, but I think, I think, Ken, the 704 local government yeah. needs to just... Uh, uh, they need to live up to their yeah. responsibility, not only in sport, in virtually everything. All right, we've just shown you what uh, FC Bede has. But let me tell you this. Morocco has been bidding since 1994, and now by 2030, they will be hosting the world. This is why. And as we speak, seven, seven African countries are playing their home matches in Morocco at the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the qualifiers. Seven African countries are playing at uh, this courtesy of uh, uh, Irene, we know our, our sport co uh, correspondent, when he was there in Morocco and they took him around the facilities. This is what Morocco has. So when Morocco is saying we are hosting Africa, we are hosting under 17, we are hosting under 23, we are hosting the uh, 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 Ocon, we are hosting everything, and, um, and FIFA says, Morocco, you can host the world. This is why. Morocco, they are there. Okay, let's take, let's take Agnes. Hello, Agnes. Uh, hello, I'm coming from uh, Makodi. All right. My name oh. is Agnes. All right. I'm Go talking on, about this uh, 
our super egos with uh, Lesetho. Yeah. Why people? Why should people be blaming uh, uh, our coach? Okay. Our coach cannot be a coach. He cannot be a player at the same time. Okay. He sent them to go and play, and he has told them what he's supposed to tell them. He are supposed to play, and he and he has a good result. Even in our country here, the people are coming to look at Lesetho that everybody was expecting, expecting Super Eagles to win them up to four, three goals. They came there and they conquered them. They won them. They still went to this side, the other side of the of the match. This Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe. Yeah. They still won them and get one one draw. Does it mean that if there is no Osime, uh, Super Eagles cannot perform? Why is this so? Why can we be depending on one person? We have to deliver. We are afraid Nigerians are hungry. They want to see the good results from Super Eagles. Not everybody that is uh, that have half time. I don't know why Ahmed Mota will be blaming uh, media. Media are the people that will tell the people the truth. Some people have the right to watch the match, but they don't have time. But when once they hear from the media, they will be okay. They will be satisfied. The media is doing their job. I don't have... All Ahmed right. Mota don't have that right to criticize media. Okay. Media are doing their work. They are delivering. They are doing their work right. Okay. Let them teach them. Let them teach them. People want to get good results. Why is this? So why should Nigeria? Nigeria was not in in Qatar last ten <laughs> years. No. Okay. All right, Agnes. We are sorry. We are we are we are, we are begging for. We are all here. We lost for time here. Uh, uh, and we just have to close. Uh, okay. I just hope in the next five years, uh, callers will be talking about the league because they will have been watching the league. If you have a viable league, our uh, Super Eagles will be intact. Okay, if we have a viable league, uh, at the NPR, I said the youth league will be starting during the break of the uh, 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 mid season. Uh, like, what is that? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm Ken Ochenogo. God bless Nigeria.